Hi guys, my name is Jay Gannon and welcome to my YouTube channel where I help you to maximize your LinkedIn content. In today's video, I'm gonna lift the lid on my system for creating LinkedIn content. It's helped me go from not creating any content at all to posting with ease five times a week. And every time I've increased the quantity of my posts, I've been able to maintain the quality, adding a fresh content mix, including video content like this, and also LinkedIn carousels, which I do have videos on how to create on my LinkedIn channel. And throughout the video, I'll be talking about why a process is so important important when you're creating content across all social media platforms, not just LinkedIn. So in this video, I'm going to use the free workspace tool called Notion. Their free plan is great. There's also great alternatives like Trello or maybe Asana if you're doing this on behalf of a company. The exact template that I walk you through, you can actually download and that will be in the description box. Please do use that and it's quite a basic template, but you can obviously pad it out because Notion is a really powerful tool. And there's also great tutorials across YouTube on how to actually use Notion to its full capability. The system that I use is also perfect if you're working in a team. It's really easy to collaborate. For example, you could have two people jumping into the content schedule. You could be looking at the content calendar to see what content you have going out in the month. And if different people do different things when creating content, you guys can see what's happening and it's really easy to upload videos and store them in Notion, which anyone can download. Throughout my YouTube channel, I really try and focus on the systems and the processes for content marketing. Because if you can nail these, it doesn't matter what platform you're creating content on, you'll have a really efficient process for creating content and you'll always be thinking about the top level strategy and what that means for your content marketing. So before I jump straight into this video, this video is a part of my 10 part video series of my LinkedIn crash course. The link to that playlist, if you're not already watching it, is in the description box, which is 10 videos to really help you to elevate your LinkedIn content game. So in my opinion, there are three main benefits to having a system for creating content. The first one is to remove the friction. The second one is to capture your ideas in one place. So you always know where these ideas are stored. And the third benefit of having a system is to easily break up the different components of content marketing. So there's so many aspects of content creation. So whether you're new or whether you're experienced in the game, you'll know that there's script writing for videos. You'll know that there is coming up with the initial ideas and you'll know that you need to prepare in advance your content themes before all of this as well. As you'll see in this video, I like to break up the different stages. So I like to store all of my ideas in one place. And then when I feel like in the mood to write, and I can get a flow with my writing, I'll turn ideas into content. Other days when I don't feel like it, I'll always have content I can jump in, I can kind of optimize. So it's really about breaking down the processes to doing different tasks when you feel up for doing them and also when you have the energy to do them. This allows you to be super efficient and to always have content ready to go ahead of time. So now let's jump into Notion. I'll talk you through my content schedule, which also doubles up as a content calendar and how this is going to change the game for you to produce higher quality content and also to increase the frequency of your posting. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the exact LinkedIn content schedule that I use every single week, every single day. This is the, the template I actually use and I wanted to be transparent with you guys to show you that if you download this template, it really can work for you. Even though it's probably quite basic, but you can definitely make it more powerful for you. So we have this board view. So this is called a Kanban style. So Kanban basically means you're breaking up the different processes of content. So here we have no status, which is essentially when things for me are in the idea stage. Then I have drafts, which is where a content has been padded out. It's a first draft, it's just initial ideas. Then we have ready to post. Post. So content that is obviously ready to post and that I will schedule. And then we have posted. So it's really good to have a backlog of all the content that you've already posted. The reason is for this, and as you can see, this one's really quite long, it goes on for ages, is because on LinkedIn, if you're gonna have to scroll through the content you've already posted, it can really take a lot of time on LinkedIn. So this really helps for repurposing content and for letting your content go further and working for you. So this is the exact template that I will show you guys. I'm gonna just move now into a clear version, which will hopefully be easier for you guys to follow. Before I do that, we have two views on this template. So we have a board view and we also have a calendar view, which is my content calendar. And this will be on the template for you guys as well. So as you saw earlier, if you do assign a date to content, then this will appear in the calendar view. So as you can see, a quick example of ideas, it can be really as simple as starting with an idea that you've heard from somebody else. So here is a quote from James Clear. Entrepreneurship is a personal growth engine disguised as a business pursuit. So I'm pretty sure he tweeted this and I would be sure to hope to expand on this idea and then I'll move it into drafts when I've done so. When I've created a post in there, I'll move it to ready to post. And then once that content is posted, I'll move it to posted. So let's jump straight into now into the exact template that you guys can download for free. So this is obviously a cleaner version than what you've just seen. So we have the no status board, which is your ideas. We have a column for your drafts, an additional review column if you are working in a team. I'll talk about that more in a second. I've also added a column for optimization and then we've got ready to post and we have posted. 
So here is where I drop all of my ideas throughout the week. So you can get the app on Notion, or of course, if you don't want to use Notion, you can use something like Trello. This does look quite like how you would use Trello. So let's jump into one of the ideas that we have here. So once you have an idea, which could be a quote, it could be something from a podcast episode you heard, you can obviously write the title of the idea here. If you're working in a team, you can assign the, the task to somebody else, which is really useful when you move across the board. So for example, if you're the person whose job it is to come up with ideas, and then you move it to draft for someone else to jump in and make a first draft out of it, they'll get a notification in Notion. And also if you desire, you'll get a notification on email to show that content has moved. And like I said, you can add a date for when the content is due which doubles up as the content calendar you can also include a url which is really useful because for example if an idea came from a podcast you can always have that link to hand you can add a comment here it's so like you saw on my board before i usually use this section to write the copy so i'll have my initial idea here and then i'll put it out so let's say we want to move this idea into drafts. You simply drag and drop the idea here and then potentially you would pad out an idea. So like that James Clear quote we saw earlier, I would think about relevant topics and my other thoughts about the idea. Then we simply move it to review. So this might be when you want to assign it to somebody else by clicking here. If you're working on your own, potentially you don't need this column. Then if it works in your workflow, you might have somebody else who optimizes the contents. This is the strategy, this is adding hashtags, this is potentially making sure the main message of the content is clear and that it's easy to read. And then you add it to ready to post. So typically this is when we'd go in and we'd change the date of the content. So let's go for uh, tomorrow. And then we can go on to the, the calendar view to see that the post is ready to go out for tomorrow. Then when the content has been scheduled and posted, move it to the posted column. Yes, this is quite a simple process, but trust me, it's really, really easy when you break things down like this. So what I like to do throughout the week, I like to capture all of my ideas into the ideas column. And then routinely, when I've got five or 10 ideas, I'll then add them all into a first draft. So I'll schedule an hour to make five or 10 first drafts out of ideas. Then in another period of time, I will probably jump in. As I do everything myself, right now i would then move my five to ten drafts into optimization phase adding the strategy making sure it's readable and then i would add content ready to post personally i don't schedule content for linkedin because it does impact the reach because you're moving people away from the platform and linkedin want to keep people on the platform so if you're posting through a scheduler it's usually the case you'll get less reach because linkedin want you to be on the platform to see ads to see other content and to stay on the platform and then, like i said i would move it into the posted column so to get the notion web clipper all you need to do is to google Notion Web Clipper Chrome extension. And if you use Google Chrome, it will just save as a Chrome extension. Alternatively, if you don't want to use Notion and you want to use another tool, it's absolutely fine what I'm about to show you. There is an alternative called Pocket. So just Google save to Pocket and find the Google Chrome extension for that. So now I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use the Notion Web Clipper. So I've come across an article which I think I could use to have loads of great ideas for content. It's by Ali Abdul. He's a productivity YouTuber. You should definitely check him out. And also, I'm really glad to see both of these guys, my friends. Cliff is a really inspirational guy with an incredible business called Speechify. So this is an article I've just come across. Um, I think it's going to be really useful. There's also a video there. So I actually want to save this article for later because I don't actually have the time to view it right now. So this is where we're going to use the Notion Web Clipper. I'm going to capture our ideas, which is the first C of my three C's model. You want to capture your ideas for content throughout the week that you come across just like this now. So when you listen to interesting podcasts, you watch interesting YouTube videos, you read really good books and you have a content ideas, you want to capture them into one place. Secondly, you want to use curation tools like Notion or Feedly to save these ideas into one place. And then you want to use the third C, which is creating. So after adding these ideas into your content schedule, you want to add your own layer, your own perspectives to these ideas to create fresh content. So let's use the Notion Web Clipper and I'll show you how to do that now. So at the top here, I've just enabled the toolbar. We go onto this little button here, which is the Notion Web Clipper if you've downloaded it to Chrome extension. So I'm going to add it directly into what the title is of my content schedule, which is LinkedIn Content Schedule, and it's on Joe Gannon's content calendar, which is the board that you guys will download if you use my template. Then we're going to hit save. I'm going to show you what happens to it when it goes into Notion. So as you can see here in my content schedule, Notion directly pulls in the article which we've saved. And this goes into no status, which basically means we've not actually assigned it to anywhere yet. So let's click on to it. And as you can see here the title pulls through and also the url which is really useful because no longer do you need to remember where you came across a bit of content or you don't need to email yourself a reminder to read an article at a later date and if you click through that it will open up and go to the website url so here the photo is actually pulled through which was of the video so that's a great as a media asset so you can download that or you can view the original and with all the text you can copy and paste it and you can edit it as well just super super useful and quotes pull through like this natively into 
notion, which again, as we saw with the James Clear quote, can be padded out into more content. So capturing your ideas and the content you come across is the first stage of my three C's model. So that's capture, curate, and create. So you wanna capture the ideas you come across and add them into Notion throughout the week and you'll never ever have the problem of not having enough content ideas. And as you can imagine, when you curate resources, like you grab articles and YouTube videos and you use Feedly to do that, which is really efficient as well, you can have so many ideas here and so many ideas for content. Then what you need to do is you can just add a board and you can take an idea, you can drop the text. Let's say this gave me an idea for content. We can drop it into here and then here we can create content from it. We can add our original perspective perspectives, you can add thoughts and new concepts, and that turns it into content creation. And then all we'd need to do is we need to move it here to pad it out as an idea. Then we'd optimize that post. We put it into ready to post the schedule and assign a date. Then we put it here to post that content. We have a backlog of content. So really hope seeing my content schedule and how I create my content is really useful for you. And I hope you see that this will be so efficient for you guys to use, to really capture ideas in one place throughout the week, to create content from them, then to have a backlog of content, which will last you hopefully weeks and even months are possible when you get really into the groove of this. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have enjoyed it, make sure to go in the description box to grab all the resources and to download the template for Notion. If you're not already subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.